Hey, g'day guys, we are down on the sunny Gold Coast and at a different, a different shed, a little bit different to the old video, show me how HQ, that is for sure. Check this place out, it is looking pretty sweet. We are down at MTS Motorsport Tuning Solutions down on the coast. Look at all this JDM hero goodness. We've got R34s, we've got 880 something horsepower S15s, we've got God Mode R32 GDRs, we've got all the good stuff, but hey, check out this bad boy. So this is my S15, we've done a bunch of upgrades to it. You've seen a little bit of pieces on the channel about it. Today we're going to talk to Philip, the owner at MTS, we're going to run through all the stuff that's been upgraded on this to modernise it, and then make sure you stick around because we're going to be doing some power runs on this guy and getting this thing to make all the right noises. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so we're, we're buttoned up, we're on the dyno, introduction to Phil. Phil hey. from MTS, how you doing mate? Hey guys, it's Phil from uh, Motorsport Tuning Solutions here on the Gold Coast. So MTS, yep. tell me more. Um, well MTS is pretty much just a dream yeah. um, uh, come true to be honest. Mate, um, a, uh, I'll tell you what, the video show me how shed looks <laughs> nothing like this mate, so you're doing well. Uh, nah look, I, I, you know, I started a, a few businesses in my time, a lot of work yep. in the uh, trade industry but yep, um, yep. this business has been open for about a year. Yeah. Um, and how did I start? I just started it from pure pa passion. I just had to yeah. do it. So um, only yeah, the yeah. best gear. Yeah. Um, just trying to bring yeah. the best service, and that's it, really. Proline dinos, and you got all the gear out here. We've got yeah, some man. Pretty sweet. You yeah. cars out here as cars well. Cars are piling in. It's uh, yeah. and so many people turn up actually, and they're like, man, this is just like the dream. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you kind of forget about it. Yeah. You're just in the midst of it. Man, but, I like you saw cool. at the start, like even just the setup here is really, really good. Yeah. I think you've done a, an awesome yeah, thanks, job. Man. It looks, uh, it looks absolutely fantastic, mate. I'm excited. Yeah, I nice. am super excited nice, because nice, nice. So you should be. This little guy. It's been a little bit of a project. We've had it a little bit on the uh, on the old channel, but nothing, <laughs> uh, nothing too crazy. So, yeah, nice. so what have we, what have we done? What have we, uh, um, what have we gone ahead with? Basically, we've just gone for the Link ECU upgrade. Yep. Um, okay. It's pretty simple, really. This is the latest and greatest. Yes. Yeah, um, a few sensor upgrades too, because. We're using a Power FC in this, and yep. if anyone knows anything about these sort of cars, yep. um, Power FC came out when these these cars came out, so they're quite dated. Yeah, early yeah, 2000s, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, sort of thing. And they were they started before then as well. But yep. um, so we've upgraded the ECU. We've done fuel pressure sensors. We've done oil and uh, oil pressure and temperature sensors. We've yep. got it all back into the ECU. We've upgraded the NOx sensors. Pretty much, we're just making this thing to be monitored and as safe as possible. Yeah, not going for all-out power at the moment yep. it's around the 400 horsepower mark yeah but um, we'll jump on the dyno and uh, yeah we'll dial this thing in and because that's definitely the goal too for me is I want to make sure this yeah. thing I want this thing to last and that that was a big motivation yeah. is I don't really care about power at this point yeah, yeah, it's yeah, already yeah, pretty yeah. It's, it's a already smart pretty decision. snappy yeah, yeah, yeah we want to get into some uh, some safety yeah uh, and, and the next thing there. you might look at doing is a um, electronic drive-by wire throttle body to yep. get rid of all of this old dated sort of um, idle control. What other, uh, what other mods from here? So other than all the safety stuff, what, what, are you, what would be the, sort of the upgrade pathway? Well, upgrade pathway would probably be um, upgrading the, uh, the coil packs. Yep. Um, so, you know, they're not too bad. They're a split fire coil pack, but they're still like a, a bit of a dated technology. Sure. And um, we'd go to the new R35 coils. Yep. Um, we'd do the drive by wire, may look at a new intake manifold. These do flow very well. Well, but um, I've heard those big plasma wan man ones, other than looking amazing, yep. they clearly add another three or 400 horsepower, right? Like, just because of how good they look. <laughs> You'd want to hope so. Maybe yeah. if we turn this puppy up, it would. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, now, other than that, this car is set up really well, to be honest. Nice. Um, now that you have the ECU package and the sensors yep. and we've put all the tables in to protect yep. it. Okay, um, sweet. It's pretty yeah. good. Awesome. Now, when it comes to the upgrades, you mentioned Link mm -hmm. and Link ECU. Yep. And we've gone with the G4X. X, yeah, which is their latest version of it. Yep. Yeah, but like, tell us, tell us what. Like, give, give me some information. Sure. Like, why, why have we gone yep. with this? Because we had the Pair FC. Mm -hmm. If hand you, controller. Hand controller. You yep. guys, if you've seen any of these, you're probably familiar with these oh, guys yeah. from like yeah. 2000. Now the screens barely work. Yeah, if there's any yeah, sunlight like a, on it, you can't see it. It's like a it. green oh, monochromatic crazy. craziness. Yeah. So why would I? Why, why? Why would we go out of this guy? Which was great for its yeah. time. Yeah. But why would we go from that 
to that? What's the geo? Okay, cool. So this and in this time, great. It, yep. You can control your ignition tables, your fuel tables. You've got some boost control. Yep. You can monitor a few things and stuff like that. For its time, great. Nice yep. and easy. Good thing about this was it was a plug and play. So it went into your factory harness. Right. Cool. So easy. Kind yeah, of that. nice and easy. Yep. This one here, the um, S15 G4X plug and play. So basically it's a card and it would go inside this, yeah. um, inside this housing. We don't want to use this housing um, because we can on-sell that. So we use this Link G4X. We might use the factory housing or something like this motorsport one. And you, you manufacture these as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. So it, that's it's because uh, with these types of cars, you either have a Power FC or the factory ECU. Yeah. So it makes it so much nicer if you have like something that's all cut out for all your sensors, your inputs yeah, and all that perfectly. type of stuff. But yeah. why would we go for this? Because this one is quite, how do I say, dumb right. in the way of if there are any faults or issues and safeties that needed to be implemented, this can't do it. Yeah, right, okay. Where this one is the latest and greatest, this has everything. If it, if it senses anything that's out of the ordinary, it can put it in safeties, it can right. like lower the RPM range, whatever you want, limb modes, the whole thing. Mate, that, I, I think that's a, that's a thing, right? Because these little suckers, the SR20s, God's motor. Yep. Controversial. They say, yeah, they say maybe. That. <laughs> they uh, say that. People may be going to be a bit upset at this point. <laughs> Tune out. That's yeah. all right. Uh, but they're getting kind of a little hard to find here. Yes. We're obviously in Australia. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, that's right. Harder again if you're in the states because mm -hmm. you poor buggers maybe missed out on a whole bunch over there, unfortunately. Yep. But you're getting these soon. Hard to find these. So mm -hmm. if that thing go goes and it goes pop and yeah, there's well, too much page up action. Then you need to rebuild it, right? Yeah. Then you need to pull it out, you need to put it back in. There's just the nuisance of losing the car. Yeah. For the price cost. of this might cost about three grand to install and tune. Yeah. Um, it is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Because that, that's like probably like 10 to 20. Yeah, yeah, by the time all of the all the hassle it. and in and yeah. out, turnkey car back yeah, on the yeah, road, yeah, yeah. that's probably, and then you're still stuck with this. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so that's good. So this gives us all those safeties. Yeah. Yep. Gives us tunability, yeah, yeah, all yeah. of that. And then you can run stuff. like, um, the good thing about it is like it, it runs on a network, so like a CAN bus system. So right. you can just plug and play um, wide band sensors, yep. CAN keypads, which are super beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got one of these. In. So yeah. you guys know me from Storm Mod and all that sort of stuff. I love my buttons. <laughs> yeah. I love the, uh, oh, we all the nerding do. out. We all do. So, <laughs> so this guy is going to live right in the center, and yeah. this gives us the ability to run all sort, pretty much whatever, right? Anything like you, you want to program that talks to, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you plug got 12 computer features. In. Oof, we do all lovely. the things. Right, so we've got all our bits. They're all installed. I reckon from here, I'm keen to make some boost noises. on there the amount of data that's streaming through is just out of control oh of course which is pretty cool and we uh we uh, hit the uh limiter <laughs> oh well that's what it's for yeah no boost control you said on that one either yeah no boost control so we've got the boost control on here yeah um we've got that's off we've got medium boost and yep. then uh high boost oh yeah so fielding's good uh, so what, what boost was that at? It, it eventually gets right at the top, it gets to 15 psi, so 15, you'll have yeah. a 50 mil Pro Gate, I think, a yeah. Turbo Smart, and then yeah. the spring in there is 15. But you can see on, on the graph on the top, it doesn't go up to 15 straight away, it kind of like slowly creeps That's up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the good thing is with a boost controller, when uh, we dial it in, 
we can get boost to come up really quickly and aggressively and then hold across if that's what we want to achieve, you know. Awesome, so. awesome. Much cleaner this time around. Um, we'll have a look on here actually. Uh, it's about the same amount of boost. Yeah, so okay. you've got a line, you've got 15 here, which so this little line here yeah. is 15, so we're just peeking over the top there. It's okay. so probably about 17 psi or something like that. Reasonably conservative. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can go up to about 23, 24 psi. Yeah. Um, just depends on how much torque we create. Yeah. How much we don't want to create, right? Yeah. In the wrong spot. Yeah. We don't want things to go break. Yeah, in this end. <laughs> so a bit more boost. Looking to uh, tidy up the taper section here a little bit. So let's see what happens. That section in there, yeah. Sounds good. All the noises. It's making all the right noises. Hopefully you can hear this, guys. It is that big sucker there going. It is blasting and then we've got extraction crazes it at the back of the cell down here. So hopefully you can hear something of what's going on. It sounds pretty dang good. up a little bit here by the looks. Yeah, so more That's power there. Um, it did get a little bit richer because we're falling out of a, a certain part of the tune map there, but um, not too much. But you can see, you see how it's, the lower this is, yeah. um, the richer it's getting. Right, right. Um, but nothing too drastic. So there you go there. See how the boost has now been um, coming up a bit. Uh, added into that top part there. Yeah. So no really more total boost because what do we add now? We're at 24, uh, 21, sorry, 21, 21 might taper up a tad here but yeah. um and we're we're really zoomed in so if i was to hop out of that that's why it looks so up and downy it's not so up and downy anymore oh uh, yeah yeah a little less zoomed in um so look i think we'll just leave it there for now yeah um in the way of uh power yep yeah. um come back and fight another day really like yeah i tell you what it runs so much yeah either. It, is, it holds idle perfectly. Yeah, the idle. It came, man. It was all it's rough. a big thing I've noticed. Yeah. Very good. We Very need good. to keep, uh, keep in mind, too, it's really hot and humid here. Oh, yeah. Uh, intake yeah. air temps are really high. Yeah. Um, so, out on the street, and when it's, this hot weather passes, you'll have even more It'll power. It'll make a bit more. About another 15 horsepower more, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, well, it's so humid in here, it's basically raining, I think. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> very After cool. Hell. Very good. We're back, back from the road test, and oh, she is spicy. The definitely the uh, the curve yeah. is definitely a whole lot better than it was because we come into boost nice, nicely now. You'll see that on some track days because definitely getting it on that. But what do you think? It definitely seems to be yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. seem to be going yeah, all right on the. Uh, nice to neither change any of the fueling. Yeah, um, yeah. The idles well. AC works very important. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> Thirty something <laughs> degrees. So we have a bit of a. Uh, Bit of a look see underneath. Everything was going going pretty well. It's all plumbed in. Yep. So I guess the the next steps. What's what's from here? So we saw we were making just over 400 there. Power not being the you know Main the concern. the big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But we've added a bunch of safety, which is good. But from here, like I guess where were we running out of puff? We were running out of puff a little bit in some spots. Uh, I feel like because uh, I do know that this uh, engine has the um, uh, the Tom A. 256 drop-in cams. Yep. Um, so they can be a little restrictive at top end. Um, yep. And you can kind of see that on the um, dyno graph. Yep. So maybe a set of slightly larger cams. Right. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, it depends on how far you want to go, but I yep. would definitely look at a uh, like an aftermarket trigger system. Yep. We'll gain more power just that way. And maybe our 35 coil pack kit. Yeah. Um, and that's a pretty good start. And then you might go maybe electronic some... drive-by-wire yep. and maybe an intake manifold for the looks. Well, I mean, those yeah, look pretty pretty snappy. There's yeah. one in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yes, one in yes, there. Yes, yes, there's one in there. <laughs> You tell my come here, I need to buy one. Uh, so, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. But other than that, like, it's all pretty safe and reliable, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so we should yeah. be able to... And the good thing is with the ECU, it just monitors everything. Yeah. If it doesn't like it, for the pool safeties. Yeah. 
good as gold. Which is exactly what you're on, yeah. right? So Especially like a 20, 30 year old setup. Yep. Um, we push these cars pretty heavy, like it's 400 and something horsepower at the wheels. That's probably yep. 450 at the engine, yep. uh, maybe 460. With, what was it, 50 degree intakes yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah, in yeah. there? It's so in these definitely. Out, you know? Yeah. So you really need technology. Yeah. You know? So I guess from here, it's we're nice and safe. We can get amongst it on some track days now, which will be coming up next on some Sylvia stuff. But then from here, it's sort of onwards and upwards. We'll give it a bit of a play now. Just enjoy the car. We'll be, uh, well, we'll be back. We'll be back for some mods. It <laughs> doesn't stop here, case. so you know how it works. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks very much to Philip okay. from MTS. So check him out if you're on the coast. Pretty sweet setup like you've seen. But other than that, guys, as always, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.